You've cheered right up. Notice the shape of his muscles, the dramatic shadows, uh, a bead of light moisture glistening on his forehead. We are here to celebrate life and the human form. Amen to that. <laughs> and how the body moves through its passages from life to end. Here we have a man at the height of his fertility. You are right, bro? Just chill out, yeah. So beautiful. Smooth. Okay, fuck right off. You told me that this would be a safe space. I am so sorry. I am a living sculpture. you're agreeing with everything I'm saying. Okay. I do not need the whole hospice knowing our business. You know what it was like for me medical school. How I was doing okay for a brown girl but would never graduate. The lecturers avoided my eyes. I was the last to get placement. And, and wrinkly old wanker after wrinkly old wanker reminded me of how grateful I should be. Nod and smile. If you think I'm going to throw it all away for her and a substance that has been through zero clinical trials, you're even more stupid than you look. There is a reason doctors aren't prescribing it, and and I I know this will go over your head, but there is a system, and flawed as it may be, it works. If you fuck this up. So help me God, I will rip this ring off my finger quicker than you can say miracle trick. Understood? Out of your mind? Turns out she isn't actually interested in easing patients' pain. I didn't even mention you. She's not an idiot. Are you sure you're not just scared I might reduce your customer base? Judgmental little bitch. I'm not a drug dealer, Tilly. You tried to sell me drugs the first time we met. I don't remember asking you for money. You know, I heard about you. I've never seen a kid look so miserable, but I'm trying to help you. If you want to help me, talk to your wife. They make it legal, but if she won't prescribe it, it's like 600 bucks a bottle. Don't you think I fucking know that? You come up here with your head up your ass like a morally righteous little prick crying about your family. Oh, you don't know anything about me. Dude, I know enough. You don't know shit. You think I'm selfish, huh? What about you? Oh, hi, I'm Ali. Let me be your fucking hero, but not if my wife doesn't agree. Oh, here's a, here's a magic medicine, but, but you can't have it if my wife doesn't agree. You're not interested in helping me at all. All you care about is her, and the next time you'll get your tiny little dick wet. <laughs> it's not funny. No, I, I know. That was a little bit harsh. You upset Julius's feelings. What? Oh, Julius, please, though. That's what I... Look, I'm sorry you've been dealt a shit hand, okay? You... You really have. But I am trying to help you. I care about you, man. And yes, you're... unpredictable and... a little bit scary, but... <laughs> um... I'm sorry. For assuming. Uh, and I know this will be a shock, but I don't want you to lose your job. 
today was the best I've felt in years. I'll keep my mouth shut from now on. Best behaviour. Doesn't matter, we're banned from the hospice activities. Well, fuck him, I'll we'll start our own. Hey Maggie, what you got there? Breathe a word of this and I will have your guts for garters. I supply Bernard with a few bits and bobs from the plant nursery. Veggies, root powder, herbs. What well, herbs? Well, what kind of herbs? Thyme, basil, coriander. But why is that a secret? He's paying me cash under the table. I need it for my fortnight skins. My brother cut me off when he realized my spending. Well, cheerio. A nursery? What a heck? <laughs> Dearest brother, turns out I'm a chip off the old block after all. Except, unlike you, I'm helping people. And I won't get caught. <laughs>